Welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain Site Vision Training Videos. In this video, I want to show you how to use a couple more functions inside Site Vision. So, for example, I'm going to show you the one right here that's a slope percentage, the one that's a polygon area, and then also checking grade on a surface that you have. So, starting with this first one right here, this slope. What I can do is both GPS or LiDAR, if you have the LiDAR, LiDAR ability, I want to check the slope, the cross slope of this road and the main fall of this road. So I can do it two ways. One, I can leave it on LiDAR or I can put it on GPS. Let's start with GPS. I'm going to take my first shot right here, level up, and I take one. And you can see it turns into a number two right there. I'm gonna walk over to the other side of the road right here, and as I'm walking, it's already telling me what the slope percentage is. It's already giving me a distance and a percentage. But if I go ahead and take that second shot and finish it out, it's actually gonna show me, and I can name it, or I can just look at what the numbers are on it. So what I can do is actually view and see what it looks like. It automatically tells me it's a 2% calculated distance and some other information if i hit the x it still shows it on there because in my layers at the very top of my layers i've got a grade and a distance it showed that in user measurements so if i needed to review it i could go ahead and click on it and it'll tell me what it is so the other option is to use the lidar so let's do that same thing right next to it switch to lidar i'm going to come over here and i'm going to angle down Take my first shot next to that. Come back here and take my next shot next to that. And there you go. 2%, 26 feet. That's the ability to use both of those, both LiDAR or GPS shots themselves. They came out basically the same. Now, if I wanted to do a main follow the road, same thing, I could just shoot here, basically walk down make sure the arrows aren't red they're white go ahead and take it there that main fall of that road is basically flat the other thing you could use it for is just simple measurements there again if you're the guy out on the field you're just trying to as built stuff figure things out whatever it may be let's say you needed to know how wide this barrier was there again, my videos are just to show you what the capabilities are. There, they may not be the actual things that you would use it for, but I'm gonna go ahead and find out how wide this barrier is using LiDAR. So there it is. Not worried about the grade, but the distance is 1948, so it's most likely a 20 foot. I could have been off just a little bit, 20 foot long barrier. But it'll always kind of show me where it's at at this point. So that's one option for checking slopes. Now what I can do is also check areas. Let's say in this area on the road, I needed to do a saw cut area. There was a saw cut here. I need to cut it out or I know that I need to just basically find out how big a square footage area is. I'm going to go ahead and click on some of these uh, shots that I already took. Delete those out. So as I swipe up, I've got the polygon option right here. Now at the bottom, you can see it's all set up. So I can go ahead and use LiDAR since I'm already on that one. I can take a shot there. Come back and maybe take a shot back here. And I could also switch back to GNSS. Take a shot right here. And as you look, it's going to continue to fill it in as I go. But we'll go ahead and square this out. This might help in uh, soft spots on uh, freeways. I had to do that quite a bit at some point. The, they wanted to know bef after we dug them out how big they were before we filled them in. It's kind of nice to be able to shoot these. So there is an area that I shot and I can hit the check button and actually name it. We will actually just call it a soft spot just for the sake of this video and hit finish now it's always there at this point i can change the transparency it goes away turn it up turn it down i can click on it and it'll tell me how big it is that's the length of the line 110 feet but i've got a surface area of 1134 so that's the option for that i can delete that out and the next one on here is to check grade so 
Coming back to the surface that I'm on, I'm gonna go and load a model. I'm gonna come back to Trimble Connect, hit projects, go to my SiteTech Wheeler yard, and I'm gonna load the Southwest Corner model. I had a pipe model loaded, so that's why I'm just verifying to make sure that I'm on the right one. Every time I go ahead and do a, ch a change of a model, it asks me to walk forward the 10 yards just to reorient, just to make sure. Now that it's oriented, you can see, just to verify, my edge of pavement when I turn my transparency up is right there. And there is my buildings and how or buildings out there. So what I can do at this point is check grade at any point. So this menu at the bottom, hit it and then hit this option right here. And anywhere I'm standing, if I'm on the GPS, I can click it. And it'll show you the ground two, which is the Southwest finished design. That is my design with my pole height right there. I've got to fill a 33, which is right because this road in the new design will get an overlay over the top of it. So that's about right. So we can come out here, move over a little bit, hit LIDAR and do the exact same thing. I can use light, LIDAR to check the grade. Same thing, 0.35 fill on Southwest design. So if I want to come over and check it in the dirt, this is kind of a landscaping area right here. Go ahead and take it. We got a fill of 81. Let's come over here in the road and check a, sh a spot real quick. Now this is to finish grade. Mind you, you've got to put your vertical offset option in um, or just do the math. But at this point, now you can see I'm standing in the driveway, the main road that comes in. So I'm gonna just set up right here, set down and take a shot. So right there is basically finished grade on the ground for top of asphalt. I would have to go ahead and assume that, okay, whatever my offsets are in here. So Site Vision has many, many different options to it that I think are, that are underrated and not utilized. And it has a, a purpose and a place for specific people, especially foremans and superintendents that just wanna be able to visualize it or homeowners, whatever it may be. So thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Intermountain on Site Vision on the different options for polygon slopes and uh, checking grade inside the design. Mm -hmm.